I'm Lindsay Lestansky, and welcome to another edition of our Home of the Week series, where we step inside some of the world's most incredible luxury homes. Join us for a special interview with Linda Hogan, who gives us a tour of her Tuscan-inspired compound in Semi Valley, California. Thank you, Dave. Linda! Hi, How are you? Welcome to the villa. Thank you. God, I'm so excited to be here and I can't believe this gorgeous day. It took me 15 minutes from the city to get here in the helicopter and I flew over, saw these 23 acres and the lake and the orchard and the golf course. Mm. Let's go golfing. Come <laughs> Let's on, on let me show you Gosh, and this is such a special property and estate. I mean, I love everything about it. It's such a unique home, but a compound, everything. So tell me, how did this all happen for you? I was just looking for something that was special and something that was really unique. And when I saw this house, I just said, you know something, that house has it. It just had that dreamy Tuscan <laughs> villa feel. And I thought, you know what, I can put my stamp on that and make that home. And you have put your stamp on it. And it really feels like this house was literally taken from Tuscany and transplanted here in Southern California. That's a compliment. And Thank now you get all the sunshine. You're on top of the mountain overlooking this amazing 23-acre property. Going my own grapes, my own avocados. <laughs> I'm a farmer. It's awesome. The lake, everything. It. It's, it's really great. It's yeah. Let's go around and look at the rest of the house, shall we? Linda, this really is, in my opinion, a great room. It's the great room in the it's house. It's the great room. And I love that it's flanked by the central courtyard in the middle. That's just amazing. But tell me, though, some of the special details that are really unique to this room. Well, you know, the beauty of this has that it has somewhat high ceilings, and I was able to accommodate giant, antique, beautiful furniture. Yeah. But <laughs> I did put the stone on the back wall. Love that. And, and the I bottles. Plugged, I plugged in a few bottles because I thought, <laughs> you know, I really want this to feel like an authentic farmhouse. And I feel like you can live in this room. you got the French doors open to the outside with the fireplace. It's really it's comfortable a, and warm. Yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful, entertaining space. Yeah. I want to check out that view in the other room. Can we do that? Sure. Let's go. Linda, I have to say this family room is my favorite room here in your home. It's so warm, it's inviting, and to me a family room is really where we spend all of our time. And to have this with the fireplace and those spectacular views of the entire valley and mountains is amazing. It really is. Like, I had no idea that the view would be like this, although, you know, I thought, oh, the house is beautiful set up on a hilltop, yeah. but at night, it just came alive, Christophe. Like the view, you feel like you're in the Hollywood Hills. It's just a spectacular view, and it's actually like a 360 degree it view. It is. <laughs> Everywhere I mean, you look. Nothing's <laughs> ever going to obstruct it. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm really happy here. This is a breathtaking view. It's a, bre a breathtaking room to be in, and it's warm and relaxing, though. I put the antlers, I put the stone. I feel like, um, you know, I'm in a European countryside in maybe the south of you know, Tuscany or something. Yes. It really does give you that feeling. And what I love about this is with every room in this house, every detail was thought through from the paver stones you brought in from Italy to the stonework in the fireplace, the hand-hewn fireplace mantle and the beams and the antler chandelier, which is so European. And to have this wonderful view of the exterior as well as a view into your kitchen is really, really amazing. Thank so you so much. So let's go look at the kitchen, okay? okay? Come great. on. I especially love this kitchen for a lot of reasons, but being raised in France in the country as a kid, this reminds me of my family's country homes. I mean, the copper faucets, the farmhouse stone sink, but especially this chicken wire cabinets. My grandfather had that in his house, and oh my gosh. How did you come up with this real authentic French kitchen? You know, I always loved antiques and country home living, and when I wanted to build a house in Florida, I actually went to France and I studied the architecture there. And for me, the best thing is really, this really is a family home. You have a great family, but sitting here, you're preparing dinner, your kids or your family or friends are sitting there, you have your Linda Hogan wine, and you're looking at the amazing view. I mean, look at that view. It's truly It never phenomenal. gets old, honestly. Like, I find myself in this room the most, and, you know, this is where I can let the dogs out, and we play, or yeah. I have my wine, we cook, the kids come over, yeah. we sit at the bar stool, we watch TV, we go outside to the pool. Like, it's just the central location of the house. Linda, this is such a sumptuous dining room. I mean, this 
beautiful French chandelier, this huge table, and that gorgeous mahogany fireplace. I mean, do you actually entertain in here? I do, actually. We've had huge Thanksgiving dinners with all of the family, maybe up to 14 people, and sometimes just my, me and my girlfriend just sitting here tasting wine, feeling like we're great because we're in <laughs> such a fabulous room. Well, great people in a great room. So, Christophe, fancy meeting you here. Well, we've had a long shoot so far, and I'm a bit tired, and why not be here in the master suite? What a great room, sitting here in this comfortable, cozy room with the amazing views of the valley below. Really special place. Thank you. It's my favorite place to retreat in the evening, and, you know, I have the fabulous balcony and my view out there. I can see the pool, the country club, and there's nothing better than bringing my little dogs up here or, oh, yeah. you know, a good glass of wine and just... The size of the bedroom is just huge, and the soft palettes, it's a great place to relax. Yeah. But yeah. I really need to take you to my bathroom. Uh-oh. Okay. Come on. <laughs> well, Linda, now I see why you wanted me to come in the bathroom with you here. It really is a beautiful and gracious bathroom. and. You sitting in the tub, I didn't expect that, but hey, what a tub is this? Tell me about this. I'll have to tell you the truth. This tub was removed out of the house in Florida where we shot the VH1 show. It was hand carved by my friend Juan. Wow. And as well as the vanity and the beautiful mirror. And it was always, it was copied off of a Diane von Furstenberg uh, bathroom design. And I fell in love with it when I saw it. I said, I have to have that. And I actually couldn't leave it in the other house. So I brought it here and they actually you know, re-carved it and refixed it and rebuilt it into the house. And now I have to leave it here. This is where it's going to stay. Well, you know what? It's sophisticated, elegant, with that French touch, just like you. God, Linda, I can see why this is an award-winning pool. Holy cow, having a water slide, the waterfall, and this kind of beach area with these amazing views of the valley and the lake and your orchards. Wow, is all I can say. I've had some spectacular parties here, and every single one has been just beautiful. I'm sure they were. Yeah, thanks so much for the amazing tour. I mean, such a great client. But I got to go to Beverly Hills for lunch at Villa Blanca. I got to make a deal. Enjoy. And I need to find a buyer for the house. Thank you okay? for all your help. Mm, God bless you. you. I'll see you in Have a couple a safe days. Have a Enjoy it. Thanks, Dave.